This one has scored an 81 solid silver award. Congratulations to the photographer. Quick comment from Jacinta, please. You're closest to the average. Yeah, this was uh, it's gorgeous. I see it as um, the ruler of the house. The cats are the ruler of the house, and that's their chair. You've got the cigar there. And um, to take it further, um, technically everything's great. Probably just another element to add to it, to a bit of humour possibly, a little bit more humour would take it into the next level. Awesome. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you, judges. This print has scored 82, a solid silver award. <laughs> and can we have a quick comment from Dave? Oh, Craig, sorry, Craig, you, you look keen. You're uh, on average, thank you. Uh, clean up the whites a bit, bit, little bit more. Match the white of the print to the mat board. Clean and whites? I, I would have gone higher. Fantastic. Than white. Whiter than white. <laughs> Wonderful feedback. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Alrighty. We have an 83 solid silver award. Very close to scoring range. We have an 82, 83, 82, 83, and an 84. So beautifully uh, spread out. Um, Dave, quick uh, comment. Awesome image. I love it. The expressions are awesome. Um, and yeah, be such beautiful, sharp images. Congratulations. Awesome. Next print, please. Thank you, judges. <laughs> this one has scored 81, a solid silver. However, we have a challenge from David Glazebrook, who is on 87. Go for it. Look at the intentional design that this um, photographer has given us in terms of construct, in terms of giving us symmetry, in terms of following all the technical issues that sort of happen within this. And they've all been well handled. You've got this complete sort of balance and then this little bit of asymmetry that happens in the light fitting that happens in the back left-hand corner, which is a really nice little, just, just take it off kilter a little bit. Then you've got this ugly dog, which has been 
beautified or trying to be, you know, with this crown. And there's a real comical element here. And we can see how the lighting has been uh, brought into this. So there's a, uh, elements of lighting that come into this that have been well handled and add texture and shape to this, the lighting that's coming from the top left, whether it be off camera or whether it's been taken out and in post from when it, when, when it came in. So it's an exceptional piece of communication, humour um, and construct. Alrighty, Craig, you're our last on 74. Yeah, look, um, 74 is probably a little bit too low for, for where I probably should have put this, uh, so sorry. But m what holds me back is the color palette uh, of Around the Arches. It's got a green cyan cast, and it actually feels like it's transpiring. That green cast is in the dog's nose, uh, in the dog's chest, a bit of blue up on the nose. So, I mean, it's a warm feeling, but creates some more depth there. So that's how I, I was really struggling with that. All right, Dave, you're on 83. Yeah, I really enjoy the image. I love the look on the dog's face. Uh, it's, he's, he's, this is my castle and go away. Like, I love it, love the narrative. Um, I do struggle with that shadow across his chest. The, ho the lighting is a little bit harsh. Um, there's a real dark shadow across in his chest. So that, that for me, the, the, the harshness took it down a little bit. Otherwise, I really wanted to go higher because I love it. Because you've got the, 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 the tones in, the, um, in the, the roof, the ceiling of the, of the tunnel, whatever you want to call that part of it, matches the dog beautifully. I l yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, d I wanted to go higher, but yeah, great effort. All right, David, write a reply. Okay, so we look, look, at, look at the colouring of the dog against the colour of that ceiling, how they match. Look at how the lighting that is harsh that comes across the dog and the shadows that it creates could even be considered brutal or even ugly lighting. But this dog is not a pretty animal to me, but it has still got character, and I think the lighting is appropriate to the character of the animal rather than trying to make it pretty. So I think they sit quite well together. Uh, and so therefore, uh, with the depth here, when you, when you, even when you sit back here, you look at how the animal is projecting towards us here. So that sort of separation, this animal that's um, coming towards us, the, the green, even the if you feel that there's a green tint here out, out, out in the stone, that then um, is a uh, contrasting colour to the warmth of it. It's quite cool in that. So in terms of giving us contrast projection, uh, it, it checks all that kind of thing. And then I'd ask us to even look at getting this into, you know, bumming it up some marks because it, it, it shows some really good communication here. All right, judges, you can please consider the debate and rescore. This is now a very solid silver at 84, and we'll go next door for a review. Congratulations to the photographer. Next print, please. Thank you, judges. David, has yours gone through? System has slowed down. <coughs> and we have a 76. Um, can I please get a quick comment from Craig? We've got white. Great. But we're th it's now detracting on the white of the dog. But there's no balance between the two left-hand dogs and then the dogs in the bottom right-hand corner. The tonality now is too dramatic. Okay. Next print, please.
Thank you, judges. This print has scored 83 solid silver. Very close to scoring range. 82, 82, 83, 82, and 84. Uh, David, quick comment. Thank you. Just check the critical sharpness of the centrepiece. I think it could have gone further, but it's just a little lacking in that area. Thank you very much. Next print, please. This print has scored 76. And if we're all happy with that, uh, we'll have a quick comment, please, uh, Jacinta. Uh, yeah, this image could have potential. First, I thought it was a, of a stray dog, um, but we've just lost detail in the nose of the dog and a bit of cloning issues on the left-hand side of the fur. Uh, to see if you can fix those. Thank you very much. Next print, please. This print has scored 75. Uh, quick comment from Mark. Um, for me, uh, the lack of definition in the background, as in there's no, it looks like it, it's gone a little bit two-dimensional. I mean, the concept with the, the lion's mane, I think, is, is quite well done, but then I think possibly more connection with the, or more personality brought, brought out of the dog to replicate and give us more of that feeling of a lion. Excellent feedback. Next print, please. Alright, this print has scored 73. Can I get a quick comment from... Yeah, sure. Thank you, David. So the author's chosen to give us a portrait, just a, he a headshot of this animal. This animal needs to be looking at us, communicating with us as if it was a human subject, you know? So eye, eye contact. Alrighty, we'll do a quick uh, judge change. Thank you, Mr. Craig Wetchin. We're going to grab Vicky Bell on for a bit. We'll go to our next print, please. Oh, Craig, don't go too far. Alrighty. 
Brisbane has scored by majority 79, but we have a very, 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 very enthusiastic challenge from Mark Duffus, who is exploding out of his chair, and I really, 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 really do think he wants to go first to challenge this. So, on 88, go Mark. <laughs> I'm sort of going, oh my God, am I looking at a different image? Um, this reads so well from left to right. We're going dark to the light. The, the pose of the dog is amazing. It, it, it is at like a pointer who has found something. So the connection with the being identified, the photo you know, the dog has seen the photographer and virtually posed in this environment. The dog is so sharp. The environment is, you know, it's sn within snow. The whole, the whole features and everything else, the eye contact, that paw up. The, the personality of that dog within that environment, that it exists there and it is the only form of colour within the image. Reading from dark to light, it, the, the subject that we are drawn to is surrounded by a beautiful white background. Um, to not, I th I th that's why sort of I went straight to Silver's distinction with this. I was trying to look for things that, no, I don't, and it's sort of like, well, no, it, it just makes sense at Silver's distinction because that contact with the subject caught in that environment and, and painted within that natural environment as well. Uh, Vicky, you're on 78. Um, look, I, I found it was a, a fantastic sort of na National Geographic capture, maybe more content. I just wanted more, I don't know, it was just sort of so much snow and so little dog. I, I and Yeah, just a bit more story. Yeah, thank you, David. I agree with Mark's read of the construction and, uh, and the, the draw of the colour, but what held me back from coming up to this, I wanted to love this straight out of the seat, but it was when I got up and looked at the how the snow, the highlights in the snow were handled, there's a lot of the highlights that are gone, we've lost texture in that, soft in the foreground, okay, maybe out of focus, but we're not retaining texture in, 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 the, in the top of the whites, even if they were out of focus, and this is one of those technical issues that was just a really big roadblock to me. Alrighty, Mark, what a reply. So you want detail on the white. All right, one of the, one of the probably the biggest question, I mean, this is, this is always detail on the blacks, detail on the whites. Why do we want detail on the whites when it's about the dog? The white frames the dog. We are brought to the detail in the dog and putting that dog within that environment the way it is, is the photographer's choice to get rid of the whites. So to, if we put detail in everything, is it, is it relevant? Is, re is the, s the detail in the snow relevant to the capturing of the personality of that dog? And has the photographer gone in and got something that is unique for that animal that no other animal will be photographed that way? And this is it. This is what the photographer has done by capturing the dog that way with its ears pricked up, attention, contact with the, s with the subject. And the photographer is amazing with the paw up, ready to pounce. It's going through. It's caught it at a rare, candid moment and contacted and engaged with the, the subject. So that's why up into Silver's distinction. Awesome, Mark. Really appreciate your enthusiasm. Um, so it's currently sitting on 79 by majority. Um, Mark's on 88. And if you could please rescore. And there we are. We have an 82 silver award. Well done to the photographer. Well done, Mark. Thank you. It was a very enjoyable debate. Next print, please. Thank you, judges. This one has scored 77. Yeah, quick comment. Um, yeah, David, you seem very keen to make a comment. I am so disappointed. I love Aww. this straight out of the gate, this celebration of this animal. But the main subject has got loads of print banding in there. Please look at your print quality, please. Very impassionate plea. 
Thank you, David. Next print, please. We have an 83, a very solid silver award. Congratulations to the photographer. Uh, well, you would need to be four points above to be able to do that, Vicky. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, never mind. But um, how about how about you, you you make the comment? I love it. <laughs> um, look, it's, I think the quality is so beautiful. It's beautifully printed. It's like the skill level is incredible, and just you know the concept. I love the fragility of it. Um, <laughs> but you know, they, they all command their own attention, like they're just a little symphony of puppies, I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, next print please. This print has scored 83 silver award. Well done to the photographer. Very close. 82, 83, 84, 82 and 84. Could we please have a quick comment? Dave. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful colour palette. Love it. I just, I could have gone higher, but I, is it, what is that thing? Is it a trumpet or what do we call it? A, a, that thing um, yep. is cut off. That disturbs me a little bit, but I know, I know. Yeah, it's great. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, judges. Next print, please. This print has scored 78. Have a quick comment. Yep, David, thank you. Two things. Cropping a bit tight on the top gives a little more narrative to give us some storytelling. Wonderful. Next print, please. This one has scored 85, a silver distinction, straight there, very close with the scoring range, 84, 88, 87, 82 and 86. Quick comment, Jacinta, you're closest to the average, thank you. Um, yeah, I think this is perfectly in silver with distinction. Um, to take it to gold level, if that's what you're looking for, just a little bit more with the narrative, other than that, everything else is perfect. Lovely, next print please.
Sprint has scored 84. Solid silver. We'll go next door for review. Oh, David, one more point. You could have challenged it for a distinction. I know it's just so frustrating, isn't it? If you really, really strongly believe it has to be a silver distinction, you need to give it a, an 89 in case this happens. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to make the comment? This was close to gold for me. The thing that held me back is the highlight on the cane in the top right corner coming out of here because it's almost the. It's competing for the bright, brightest part of the image, but the storytelling is fantastic in here. If yeah, great. <laughs> awesome. Next print, please. Next print, Thank you, judges. This print has scored an 84. And yet another solid silver award. Well done to the photographer. <laughs> Fantastic. Vicky, would you like to make a comment? I'm really enjoying the concept and the graphic nature of it. It's just so beautifully handled in regards to the, you know, the whole kind of collaging together is just immaculate. Like, really stunning. Something I've not seen. Beautiful. Lovely. Next print, please. This print has scored 78. Uh, quick comment from Dave, you're on the average. Yeah, great concept. We all know about snail mail. Um, but I just feel it's, it's lacking other elements, other narrative as well. It's a it's tiny bit bland. But good. A little too simple. Awesome. Next print, please. This print has scored 83, solid silver award. Um, is that for a comment? Yeah, you can definitely comment. Thank you, Dave. You can make a comment. I would have liked to have gone a little bit higher with this one. It is a beautiful print, really connected with the photographer. There's just some banding in the in the lighter part, the white underneath the dog that uh, detracted from it. Fix that up, great. Thank you very much. Next print, please.
This one has scored 77. Uh, quick comment. Yep, thank you, David. First thing I would look at is the cropping. The Under the jaw, the whiskers running out of the frame because they're really quite nice and textural, and yet they fall out of frame. Thank you very much. Next print, please. has scored 75. Uh, quick comment, Dave. We haven't heard you from you for a bit. Great concept. I love it. Um, just the focus is the eyes are beautiful and sharp, but it, the nose is blurring out and the, the half dog on the left is, is just blending into the background. We're just losing um, the dog into the background. Yep. So separation. Separation issues, yeah. definitely. Yeah. That's all right. Lots of separation itch issues. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> You get some cutters, people, some black cutters to get separation and light your foreground and background with two separate lights, please. Or three or four. <laughs> Next print, please. Alrighty then, we have a gold at 91. Oh yeah, baby, however, now that we're there, who knows where we can go from here. Uh, David, you're on 94 and you would like to challenge, you are our highest scorer. Um, so, you will now be locked in at 94, but everyone else will be able to consider where they want to go with this, so thank you. When I sat down, I actually felt like I underscored this print. Because once you look at the storytelling, the exceptional storytelling that happens in this print, you've got a black sheep and a white sheep having a little moment here. So you look at them, and then there's this cat sort of sitting there like looking like, what are you guys up to? And then there's Deputy Dog sitting over here on the left-hand side with a sheriff's badge going, oh, this ain't allowed in our area because it's a southern style, southern American style sort of house. So you look at this exceptional storytelling and I just think there is so much humour, so much creativity, so much ingenuity that's gone in, gone in here. This is off the charts and I'm sorry I'm locked in at 94, but you guys have a chance to reward this author and represent our industry and showing what is just off the chart storytelling and creativity and imagination. I'd ask you to please revisit and consider what I'm asking you to do. All right, it's gold, so I'm probably going to ask to for a few of you to speak. We'll, we'll go with down first. So, Mark, still an 88. We're not talking a bad score here, but what are you thinking? I know, I missed the racial tension <laughs> um, <laughs> in there, in there, and um, yeah. also the... So, y yeah, black, white, cat, dog, and uh, just the... And the, the, the construct is really so well done. Yeah, it is. And But it, I was lacking a little bit of... Okay, they put four animals in there. That's cute. But, yeah, the whole racial black sheep thing. Vicky, are you getting the Southern American context here? <laughs> I love it. Sure is, honey. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, really, uh, it's like it's an embroidery, actually. Like, every pixel's been managed so beautifully and I have underscored it, and I'm glad we're talking about it. Um, like, even the atmosphere and the smoke and the hot tea, like, that's incredibly finessed and so very sophisticated. You know, I wish we could sit with these for, you know, maybe an hour would be great. I know we don't have that time, but it deserves to be sat with and just enjoyed. But, you know, congratulations. Dave, what are you thinking? I would like to go hi higher. One thing that's disturbing me, and you touched on it, Vicky, every pixel's been touched in this. So why haven't we straightened the window and the, the frame and everything on the left? Um, it's leaning in. That, to me, is a bit distracting. And I find that, out, that whole area a little bit bright. Um, and then we go to, and I, under, you know, I understand it's a window, but I feel that's the brightest point in the image. Um, so, yeah, I, Dave, you might be able to get me up a few more points. I'm at 92. I see I see that. I miss the uh, black-white thing too, so maybe there's yeah. some more points in that. Um, yeah, look forward to hearing you. Oh, can we reply? All righty. If no one else wants to do a, do a bit of a pickle, David, you're right to reply. Look, at it, it's almost like, you know, uh, this this fable or that is happening here that unfolds. To, to hold it back on the tilt of the window to go the brightest part where the light is beaming in here through the T and all that kind of business, this should read left to right. It reads left to right. It is appropriate to the light. The light is right, in my opinion. And I'd ask you to really just, as I say, champion this print as just exceptional communication of somebody's pets or animals that they're putting before us of the highest order. You have the chance to do that now. Can you be specific? So you're currently on 94. I'm what are you asking? I'm currently on 94, and I know we're at gold. You've got a chance to bump this to a gold with distinction, and I think it deserves that. I'd ask you to seriously consider that, please. All right, judges, if you could please seriously consider that and rescore. Seriously. And we have by majority 94. That is a solid goal, and it'll go next door for review. So it might get to a distinction after all. Thank you, judges. That was lovely teamwork, uh, including one judge who moved his score by 10 points, which is <laughs> considerable. We love you, Mark. Um, so well done. Well done. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this outside. I think it's going to be enjoyable. Next print, please. This print has scored by majority 85. <laughs> Silver distinction. <laughs> Exciting times. Mark, you're right on the average. You want to make a quick comment? Very humorous, very well done. And also the um, red egg, nice touch. Awesome, short, sharp, succinct, to the point. And we'll go to our next print, please. And we are on to reviews. Thank you. So that's the end of the, the this particular part of the judging of this um, category. Thank you, DigiDirect. Uh, and we'll wait now for reviews coming from next door. We did we did end up having some prints move next door, so. Um, but you've all done a stellar job, thank you very much. So if you can all just wait here for reviews, and then I ask that if you could please also wait to, to find out who's doing PPY as well, that would be lovely.
so we're very, very, very grateful to our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we would not be able to have this event. Um, so Digi Direct, Camera and Imaging, they are in Melbourne, based uh, in Elizabeth Street. I have visited them. They are fantastic, very, very helpful. Very, very awesome. Anyone else been there? Yes, Vicky, what have you bought from Digi Direct? <laughs>
Society judges. If we are happy to get back to reviews, that would be absolutely splendid. So, just a reminder, this process will not be too quick because people need time to change it over. We need to make sure the audience can see. You are welcome to stay up there. But please take your time to consider the images. They have come from next door, so you may not have seen them. Have a good think and then let me know. If we're ready, we will go to our next print, please. This is currently an 84. Is it a silver with distinction at 85? Could I just see that again, please? Uh, no, it remains at 84. Next print, please. This is currently, it's currently an 84. Is it an 85, silver with distinction? It remains at 84. Next print, please. This is currently an 84. Does it become an 85? Silver with distinction. This remains at 84. Next print, please. This is currently on 79. Does it become 80, a silver award? This stays at 79. Next print, please. This is currently 79. Does it become an 80, silver award? remains at 79. Next print, please. Currently 79. Does it become a silver at 80? This remains at 79. Next print, please. Currently on 79, does it become a silver at 80? This stays at 79. Next print, please. Currently on 79, does it become a silver award at 80? Remains at 79. Next print, please. Currently at 84, does this become 85 silver with distinction? We now have a silver with distinction at 85. Congratulations to the photographer. Next print, please. Currently at 79, is this an 80 silver award? Remains at 79. Next print, please. Currently at 79, does this become a silver award at 80? This image stays at 79. Next print, please. Currently on 79, does this become a silver award at 80? This image remains at 79. Next print, please. 
currently on 89, silver with distinction. Does this become a gold at 90? You can take your time if you like. We have a gold award at 90. Woohoo! Congratulations, to the photographer. Very exciting. Gold awards are always good. And we will go to our next print, which is a blank screen. Thank you, judges, so much for all your efforts. Um, if you could please hang around for PPY judging, and you'll be informed shortly as to who will be doing that. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> 